Hello guys, this is Amos Stone Music and in today's lesson I want to teach you how to play the Godfather theme. It's really awesome, one of my personal favorites. Check it out, here I'm going to teach you the main theme. I'm going to show you the preview of what you're going to learn today right now. Okay, here's a preview, check it out. So, let's go ahead and teach you how to play this awesome thing, alright? So, let's break it up into parts. Let me see how many parts we break up to. One, uh, two, three, four. Okay, let's break it up into four main parts to learn, alright? So, let's begin with the first part. Right hand, first part starts on the A here. So, middle C is here. We go up to the A right here. So, it goes A, and up to D, up to F, E. D, up to F, back down to D, E, D, down to B flat, up to C, down to A. Just like that for the right hand, alright? So that's the right hand for the first part. One more time for the first part, so it goes like this. It goes A, up to D, up to F, E, D, F, D, E, D, down to B flat, up to C, A, like that, alright, so that's right hand for the first part, once you get that for the first part, the left hand, um, for the first part we have four chords here, the four chords are, pretty simple, there's repeating chords here, so the first chord is D minor, which is D, F, A, second chord changes to G minor, second inversion, which is D, G, B flat, so essentially we don't have to move the bass note D, and then the third and the fourth chord are both D minor. Again, all right. So with that in mind, so the four chords pretty simple because three out of four of the chords are actually the same chords D minor. Okay, so one more time, so the four chords are D minor, second inversion of G minor, and two D minor chords. With that in mind, the two hands together goes like this. Okay, right hand starts with the first three notes, E and D minor together. E and second version together. A and D minor together. A minor, D, D minor by itself, just like that. All right, one more time. So it goes like this. All right, so it goes like this. Together. 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 Here, like that. All right. So that's the first part. Moving on now, the second part continues like this. Right hand goes like this. Similar, it goes A, D, F, E, D, F, D, E, D, and now it changes down to A, G sharp, G. Like that, okay? So you, pretty much the first half of it for the right hand is the same as the first part. One more time for the right hand. So it goes A, D, F, E, D, F, D, E, D, A, G sharp, G. Like that. Okay, so that's the right hand for the second part. So once you get that for the second part, left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords changes a little bit. All right, the first chord is the same. It's just D minor, which is D, F, A. Second chord is the first inversion D minor, which is F, A, D. And then the third and the fourth chord are both G minor chords, which is G, B flat, D. So two of them. All right, so that in mind, so D minor, followed by first inversion D minor, followed by two G minor chords. The two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts first with the first three notes. E and D minor together. And then E and first inversion together. G and G minor together. G minor by itself. Just like that. All right, yeah. So that is the second part. Okay, once you get that, Let's go ahead and recap the two parts we've learned so far. So it goes like this. Like that. 
All right, so let's move on now to the third part. The third part continues like this for the right hand. It goes G up to B flat, D flat, E. And then goes back down to G, B flat, D flat, D, like that. Okay, pretty interesting. So I'm gonna dis diminish kind of feel to it. Okay, one more time. So it goes like this, it goes G, B flat, D flat, E. G, B flat, D flat, D, like that for the right hand for this third part, all right? So once you get this third part for the right hand, left hand we have four chords here. The four chords are two G minor chords at the start, which is G, B flat, D, so two of them, followed by two D minor chords, which is D, F, A, so two of them as well. All right, with that in mind, so the four chords are pretty simple, which is two G minor chord, followed by two D minor chord, all right? So with that in mind, the two hands together goes like this. All right hand starts with the first three notes, E and G minor together, G minor by itself, D and D minor together, D minor by itself, like that. All right, so one more time, so it goes like this. Together, two, three, four, here, two, three, four, together, two, three, four, here, like that. All right, so that's the third part. Once you get the third part, let's go up, put the three parts that we've learned so far back to back like this, check it out. So after the third part it goes to the fourth part, right hand, after this it goes down to the octave below D, up to F, up to C, B flat, A, C, B flat, B flat, A, A, down to C sharp, D, like that. Alright, one more time for the right hand for this fourth part, okay? So what happens in the third part we finish off on the higher D here, so for the um, uh, fourth part, the first D is actually the lower octave D. So it goes D, F, C, B flat, A, C, B flat, B flat, A, A, C sharp, D, like that. All right, so that's the right hand for this um, fourth part, all right? Once you get that, left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are A suspension four, which is A, D, E, followed by A major, which is A, C sharp, E, and then followed by two D minor chords, D, F, A, there's two of them, all right? So with that in mind, so A sus four followed by A major, followed by two D minor chords, the two hands together goes like this, all right? So right hand once again starts with the first three notes, B flat and A sus four together, second B flat and A major together, D and D minor together, two, three, four, D minor by itself, like that, all right? Just like that, one more time, so it goes like this. Together, 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 two, three, four, here, like that. Alright, so, yeah, that's that for the um, four parts. Okay, so back to back, the four parts will be played like this, okay. So it's pretty awesome. Yeah, so what you can do to make it a bit more like um, less calming or like just a bit more bassy, you can do like left hand accompaniment like octaves at the bass. So you can double do the bass note, just do D and then just do the rest of the chord like that. Okay, so yeah, to make it a bit more like um, bassy 
and like ominous like that. But anyway, yeah, but the, uh, the normal chord version is just a bit more calmer, still nice as well. But anyway, as for now, yeah, hope you enjoy learning this theme. And as for now, I guess, check out my, all my other piano covers and tutorials on this channel, like these ones. I have a lot of them, of over 2,000. But anyway, as for now, enjoy your time on my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.